um, I've woken up with with a painting. So I've, I've um, just decided to say a proper hello to you there now for part two. Um, my name is Anya Devine and I'm doing a painting up behind me. Oh, it's a wetsuit on the fence. <laughs> that was a card that I didn't know we had. See that there, it's the wetsuit drying. My daughter was up in the sky the other day and she went swimming. <coughs> um, I didn't say hello because it was only just after waking up really and I thought I'll start with a painting. I'll start the day with a painting. This is a recent thing now I've been wanting to do that. Use, you, I used to kind of start with um, a stretch, you know, a bit of yoga and a meditation. And then I thought I'd be ripe for painting, but actually it seems like painting is a good way in. And I found this picture that I'd started a while back of somebody else, I don't know who, and I thought I can change that to make it me. So that's what I've been doing up until now. And there's another video, part one of me. I don't know, I haven't decided to call it anything yet. But you'll find that, it's, it's uploaded, uh, it'll be uploaded today, the 12th of January, 2023 along with this one. So this is part two and what I want to do in part two is um, explain the eyes a little bit. I should show you what I'm doing now rather than just be talking to you about what I'm doing. So that's how it's looking so far. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror here and then um, adjusting this painting to fit what I'm seeing today of myself. So I've got a mirror set up across from me there. Anyway, thanks. It's good to have your company. And uh, I might chat, I might not, we'll see. But um, good morning anyway. It's good to be here in the morning. Okay, I'll just set you down. And I think if I can just do something to explain the eyes and maybe a bit of the green here. I'll try and find the position that I was in again now. Gosh, the sun's, sun's shining quite bright now through the front window, so it's making a bit of a difference. It's brightening my face up quite significantly, which makes me think I need to get a move on here. Okay, so I'm just going to be looking at the shadows and things around my eyes. I'm going to use my sap green and cadmium red mix to, as a way in. Okay. And just get the line of the eyelash where it uh, cuts through the ear and where it cuts through this part of the eyebrow here you know it's that kind of an angle I'm looking at and how it relates to to the mouth it's a helpful thing to look at okay and then I think I'll put something in the inner corner of the eye just to say where the eye meets skin and I'm going to do something with the nostril too to help me to locate it in relationship to the nostril it's quite red quite red <laughs> so I've just washed the colour off the brush and I'm reducing the brightness of it happy enough with the position I think <coughs> Bring a bit of shadow in here now to describe the, the shadow underneath my eye, which helps to show where the bone is. Maybe reestablish the dark of the eyebrow again too. Let's put some ultramarine blue into that red and green mix in order to darken it a bit. So the eyebrow has a bit more impact again. <coughs> could bring you a bit closer sure seeing as I'm just doing the eye really the eyes so that's me darkening the eye well now I'm going back to deepen the tone of the eyelash line as it comes down this way I'm going to see where where that line would cut through the eyebrow but there is okay I think yeah and if I look at where the pupil sits it's almost directly below the bend in the eye the bend in the eyebrow. There's more of a shadow. I mean, I could really do with bringing up this one as well, couldn't I? And then add it. It's got a lot brighter on this side of the face since I started. Maybe 
maybe I'll carry on with this one to say where the iris needs to be because I think I need to adjust where the eyebrow where the iris is on the other side so it doesn't read as unconvincing Looks like I've adjusted where the inner corner of the eye is. I think I could bring a bit more colour, more shadow into the socket here as well. And a little bit of shadow on the one up to the eye from here up. Mixing some darker colour now to help me to re-establish where I want the darks to be. Just to, yeah, to clarify again. Um, I keep meaning to remember to turn my head back to the angle that I originally was looking from. There's a tendency to shift back again to, to painting. I just print something here to connect the iris to the eyelash line. And then I could maybe let it drop down. Lily. Mm -hmm. um, Just doing a video, by the way. You can still say it. No, I think I can. Okay. <laughs> Give me five minutes then. Is it urgent? Um, kind of. Mm.
Just make a few marks on this eye now. Right, I think what I'm going to do is stop the video and do another one when I'm doing the other eye. Right? So thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you for the next day. Bye. And Lily's going to do a little flourish on the piano. No, she's not. See you soon. Bye.